person how can store that much information. Now you take a uh, touch lightly on this. That drugstore man has worked 22 years in that drugstore. How that human brain, you, he don't know who's coming in that store and what they want. <coughs> Any store, I don't care where you go, hardware store. He knows instantly. And by God, you know he can go pick that thing up and she come in there. To, uh, he don't know who's coming in there and what he wants, but that whole thing operates itself instantly. Whether it's a blacksmith shop, a drugstore, a grocery store, or uh, even uh, the world goes like what go. If I went in your house and said, I want a pencil. All right. You could go right to it, and I'd say, give me a yellow pencil, and you'd find exactly a yellow pencil. Instantly. But I don't know where it is. Well, no. Same thing. They sit there, and they put the stuff up there on the shelves, and they well, see all these names. Oh, do would, it. Oh, wouldn't you have to? Your reflex wouldn't well, I tell you, make a long story short. <coughs> Kids all in school. They come to the point of uh, thought. The teacher says, uh, Donna, you know there's nothing quicker than human thought. Oh, yes, there is, teacher. He says, there isn't. Yeah, he says, I shit my pants for I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go. But the reflex, now you go to drop this thing, your reflex is so great I can grab that before it even hits the ground. You have to use two of your, your, your vision and your muscular power has to react the same time as your reflex act because the human power grabbed it, yeah. your sight identified it. That, <coughs> How a human brain can store up and do so many different things. You know, that's, that's why I thought it must deteriorate and replace by something new. But uh, you brought out a thought there that, that fresh in my memory about some. I can go back 50 years and remember things that 50 years ago. Sometimes it takes something. Well. <coughs> I've had that to memory. happen. Very thing, a similar thing happened, bring back a memory. I'll to say me. a name or say something yeah, and yeah. say, hey, you remember. It's like the schoolwork. I I'm lucky if I can remember ten percent of what I learned. <coughs> I read articles and things about people studying how to learn. And they say that if you can remember ten percent of what you learn, then you're doing good. At one time, I learned 20 chemical structures and could write them down from memory and name them. <coughs> I knew all about them. And I doubt if I could do it today, and that was three weeks ago. Where it's up there, I can't pull it out again. And I, yeah, the mind. I've had a dream or something, you know, and wake up in the morning and just, I know well, I dreamed no, something, right, but I can't remember. And you'll see something and say, that's what the dream was about, and you just instantly remember the whole thing. Now, dreaming is another thing I've tried to figure out. You very seldom ever dream in color. I do a lot. All right. You know, we're just speaking general. Very seldom. Ever. Now, you see things in a dream that's constructed and work, but do you, there's nothing exists in human life like that. I had a dream last night. You see night. what I mean? I dream for this place here, you guys dropping that wrong end of a casket. The casket was gray and with four people carrying it. And the, with the feet in, dropped the ground right out there, and I think, God damn, he dropped that. I, <laughs> I don't know more what that, but. A lot of times. I dream when I'm waking up for some reason, but when I'm asleep, dead asleep, no. But did you ever wake I up and down there, caught yourself in a dream? Yeah. I did one time. You see the shirts around him, she said? I'll look at him. I took a psychology course and they talked about dreaming, different studies they'd done on dreams and things. And dreams seem to be associated with a certain cycle of your sleep. Your brain emits electric waves, like we were talking about. Well, what about the subconscious whatever. mind and the natural mind? And it goes in cycles. First, you know, you drift off <coughs> and it goes up in a cycle and it comes back down. 
and in a certain cycle of this dream, rapid eye movements occur, REM, where your eyes actually jitter back and forth in your sleep. And this happens when you wake up as well. And that's when dreaming occurs. You can be sound asleep and dream in the middle of the night during this phase of sleep. Yeah, but you, 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 but you, you take don't a restless it. night, you dream a lot. But you go in dead sleep, six, seven hours, you don't dream a damn bit. But if you have four or five dreams during the night, you've had a restless night. Have you ever been asleep, sound asleep? And six, something seven wake hours you up at a time. And have a dream. And have a dream right at the end. This is, I start waking it up. But what becomes is a subconscious mind when the body's trying to repair itself that the whole system's dead. Dreams as as seem concerned. to be a composite of what's going on in your subconscious mind. Things that yeah. you're not conscious of now. Your brain's thinking something else back in here too, subconsciously. And you can't, you're not aware of it. But in dreams, the subconscious brings itself out, and it puts itself together in a certain picture. You saw four guys carrying this casket. Yeah. Now, that probably relates to something you thought about that. Well, I, that's just it. I've never thought not, about nothing. It puts I it in a visual I, image. Why should I dream when this place never entered my mind? Most of my dreams don't have talking in them. Mostly, it's, even like that. it's silent. But it's implied that that person's doing something to you, and you both know what's going on, but there's no verbal conversation, no talking. It's just Bill? things happen. Well, now, there's another thing, Bobby. Let's touch on lightly. According to time now, a man only lives a fraction of a second. Look, it seems like we do have a lot in the 30, yeah, 40 no years. One. That's true. But uh, start from the beginning to the end, a man don't live a very damn long at one, but... And he sleeps two thirds of the time that he's awake. I'm confused. No wonder the other guy he can he get free. Have they ever siphoned this thing out in any way, shape, or form? Can you surround something? Use me for example. In my eighty years, we'll just say it that way. I've only live a fraction of a second. Now, your grandma here has been dead 11, 12 years. It's a fraction of a second. The dead shall rise, the sea shall give up their dead, and the, the graves shall give up their dead. Now, you want more coffee? Uh, just warm it up okay. and then we'll go. Now, uh, half full, friend. Now, yet we've only, she's, she's been asleep and a zillions of more now, the same thing. Eaten by animals, destroyed by fire. The old, Millions and millions of men's dead in boats. Yea, though he giveth up his ghost words, he travels to his undiscovered country, no travel returns. Now, all of this happens a lifetime, but yet we don't only live a few seconds during that period. I've met some Christian crackpots. <laughs> and I think that's a good term for it. Well, it is. Yeah. I've seen... These dinosaur skeletons. Yes, I've in been Chicago. in lots of museums too. And yeah. I believe in science. I don't think they fabricate this stuff at all. Oh no, I believe in pure science. So I don't care what people think. Can take these bones, they're really rocks. There's a certain kind of carbon atom that's radioactive and it mm -hmm. decays at a certain rate. And they know the rate of it, and when they can determine the amount of radioactivity carbon in this rock, they can tell how old it is within, you know, a million yeah. years or so. And they determine that these, this stuff's uh, <coughs> three or four hundred million years old. And I've met people and they don't believe that. Well, they right. think people went out and carved this to make up some story. But, but that's silly crazy. to you and I, when the hell are you going to talk to a person? I've met people now in the last two or three years now, touched very, very, very lightly on what you spoke about. I've met people today that think men has never flew to another planet. Oh no, they probably went around the other side of the earth and got I thought you said the earth was square. Now you see how I coined the word Christian crackpots? Yep. Now, like in laws, I call them all outlaws and they laughed about that. He says, I got that's about the truth. No. I put my rule in guide and everything is written in that book, but Somehow or another, the other guy don't understand it, don't try to understand it. Mm -hmm. I believe in every, 
All religions is good. They all mean well, but not any one. They all mean good. Uh -huh. That Catholic guy, that's one out of a hundred million now. Automobile right on your nose. But they believe that he had to lay in state three days in purgatory. God made up his mind what he wanted to do with him. And the people, a uh, good deal like fortune tellings, have been trained that. Uh, they're not to be censored because they don't know any different. The dog learned to bring my newspaper too because I taught it that way to bring it. Now, we are taught different things. You only have to go right through that wall and hear a half a dozen every week. But they all mean well. It's just the way people want to think about it. The Salvation Army is this good as a Presbyterian. That, that guy over there, Seven Day Advent, is just as good as that guy over there, the uh, Baptist or the Methodist. They all mean the same thing in the same book, but they different, look at it different ways. I think there it's are all, different ways. To there look is. At it. It's all written in that book if you can understand what I it means. People that don't think that though. And if you don't think like they think, oh, that's wrong. bad. That is. That's bad. Now, I don't mean to repeat this, Bobby, but I want you to remember this thing. It's written there. And I can show you black and white. Not me not thinking. I'm gonna think for the world now, not individual. Man that is born of woman is a few days full of trouble. We like it done. Man that is born of woman is a few days full of trouble. Yet he cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. Yea, though he giveth up his ghost, where is he? Travels to the undiscovered country whence no traveler returns. Now wait. Ashes to ashes or dust to dust. Now, the Ten Commandments, the rule and guide of your faith, you couldn't possibly make a mistake. Things must have been held bad shape to write a commandment in them days like we do like today. But anyway, I skipped hundred million years then. And we go to the 23rd Psalm in the Bible. It's written in there plain as can be. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. There is your cemetery. He restoreth my soul. How much plainer, broad and staff, Sheep, we're only sheep of the creation. How much plainer would you want anything you talk about? Man had no other choice than say that man is made of my he means God Almighty. There's your God Almighty right outside, right out there. And if a man don't believe in the creation, he's a damn fool. It ain't no old great of man. Man is made in my well, image. Like, well, yeah, I'll give you three dollars. You promise to give it back? I don't promise anything. Oh my I God, I ain't gonna lose. I gotta give this gentleman some change. No, no, I thought you was joking. No, here. Uh, uh, no, I thought you was kidding. No, I gave the kids the last dollar I had in my pocket for lunch today. No, I, I thought he was joking. That. Yeah, three dollars. <coughs> <coughs> Anyway. No, I tell you, I'm not trying to get the other guy to believe what I do, because I could be wrong too. Everything is written in that book. If a guy would just sit down and figure this thing out for real, my God, it is written in there. Now you can take any chapter, and you can take any verse and talk the rest of your day with it. Almost a convincing part. It's so broad in its scope. But That's it's all written in the thing. But the 90% of the people don't believe it. They Yet they believe it because somebody else tries to make you think the way they want it. Well, they could be wrong too. What was you going to say? You know, you're talking about the broad scope of what the Bible talks about. It is broad in scope as far as the topics it deals with. But they knew about it in them days. So how come we still got to listen to it? To, well, we got a thousand nine hundred and seventy-six years in our way of doing things. Well, 
the Jewish people over there, they're 5,000 some. The Chinese is 10, 12,000 years. Let's keep going back now. Wait a minute. You make no provisions for this, only making provisions for right up here. And God damn it, we got a lot more time to go. Well, it's broad, and what it talks about. Right is. It's broad. It's not broad in what it says. I think it says exactly one yep. thing. Now, what people I got involved with down in Gainesville, that's where we disagree. It's, it's also broad in its application that you can apply what it reads, <coughs> what you read in the Bible in several different ways. Not 20 different degree, but just approach it from a no, different I, direction. No, I, I, Having a different view of it and the way you apply it and do what it says can be done several different ways. That's right. Now, I think we're given free choice for that. All right. Now I'm going to take the very people, not, no, 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 I wouldn't say no individual, but every, everything as a whole. There's a mystery lays in there. You let that human get damn good and hungry, thirsty, or the human passion builds up in their body, they'll forget all about that over there. Now, who, 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 I'm confused about this thing, and the longer I live, the more I find out, the less I know about it. I ain't supposed to know too much. But you take these very people. I can confuse them so fast it'd be pitiful. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm like you about that. I believe in what scientists proves, not what the other guy, like that Ouija board I call for the fortune telling stuff. If they know so damn much, all governments in the world don't depend on it. People in the know-how don't depend on it. It's a compensation thing that might interfere with the individuals, not in scope wide. Why well, spend all these zillions and zillions and trillions and quadrillions of dollars every day if they know so goddamn much and they know all about it after something happened? I read an article in the paper oh. today. They were talking about trying to pinpoint the <coughs> actual birth date of Jesus. Oh, how are you going to do that? You know, the Bible talks about the star in the east and yeah. all that. Well, an astronomer. Somebody who studies yeah. the sky as a science. Like the North the Star, 425 miles where it was when they first started. Huh? They know that <coughs> Jupiter and Saturn, <coughs> every 100 years, line up, produce a bright spot yeah. in the sky. Okay. Well, they calculated that this could, this could have happened <coughs> within three times of when Christ was supposed to be that born. Time. 7 B.C., 4 B.C., or 3 B.C. And they even gave the months in there. And they said the idea that it happened exactly 1,976 years ago yeah. is probably wrong. Could be just as wrong as anything in the world. I read a Man bunch of stuff in the Man sets his time. Paper. Your Rocky Mountains moved four, four inches every 100 years. Your Appalachian Mountains was bigger than the Rocky Mountains thousands of years ago. The so world changing. I've read several articles in the paper about different archaeological finds. They found this city somewhere over there in the Middle East, yeah, Africa or something. Yeah. And from what they found out about what they found was that this was probably a city that was told about in the Bible. It was never found. And they figured a lot of these Old Testament stories are based on facts, things that really happened. It is. The Ten Commandments or anything is based on the fact that it's been exaggerated so bad over the centuries. Like, no, well, I use something that's up to date. We all know about it. Noah's Ark. We know today that any museum has got more bugs and beetles in it than the Ark could possibly have in it. The more animals on the face of the earth, male and female, the reproduction. We have people today, you, you termed it right while ago, <laughs> them Christian crackpots, well, no, at that time, he might have built Ark. He could have done the best he could. We have it every day here. We see it around us every day. But basically, it might have been so. But my God, you go through any museum today, 
you go on a damn good farm. They you know they, a good farm has got more animals on it than Noah's Ark had even room to put in any place on it. I think the Bible is what literature terms as an allegory. It's a story. It has a particular it, plot. I tried. But this story also has a secondary meaning that comes from the entire plot itself. I and believe in the original part, but it's been blown up out of proportion so bad over a period of thousands of years that I'd like to see the actual fact about the thing. I read a book about I Bible history, like where our Bible came from. Well, you, the New Testament writings weren't actually, they can't document them any farther back than 300 years A.D. That means there was 300 years that they don't know where it was, where the original yeah. writings were or anything. But from the internal evidence of the writings, the way it's written, what it refers to and things, that it all probably came from a, a central point. Ain't hey, one man out of a million can siphon that stuff out. But how the hieroglyphics of what they call Egyptians, yeah, that's three to five thousand years old, even before the, that time. This business, like you listen to a real Christian crackpot, and he'll tell you that men came on the earth seven thousand years ago, or about that. Oh, heck. I've seen thousands of years ago, that, that old and older. And I've seen skeletons. How about King Tut? Nine-year-old boy ruled Egypt there, and he died at nineteen. Tell some of them, oh, there wasn't no such thing. What do you can't deny the real out. thing? Huh? It is. It's just a denial of point blank fact. They want to believe so bad the actual detail of the Bible, which is probably, like I said, an allegory, it's a, a story to carry over another meaning. Right. That they neglect it's the real meaning of it, so and they really lose a lot there. Why, hell, you've lost 90% of it. I'd actually like to see the original. But that's interesting. Well, sure it is. That. The further back you go, the more you find out, the less you know, too. You that's get lost and confused and have it But I don't... We don't live too long to find out that we know too much. I, if you do, you've outlived the useless. And, I often wonder just the purpose of men's existence. If you wiped men off the face of the earth, it would not upset the ecological balance. Well, couldn't these people see that the... Uh, Here's that three dollars. You, you mean that quick? Mm-hmm. That don't make sense. The Bible said bread cast upon the waters returns a hundredfold, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll take that three dollars. The fact yeah. is, they say, who wants a hundred loaves of wet bread? <laughs> <laughs> It's like writing, writing underwater with a pen. Who the heck wants to write underwater with a pen? Who can go down there to read it? <laughs> no. I put my rule guide and faith in it, but... There's ants crawling all over that street right now. But you and I can't see it. But man has created an idea to bend light and bend this thing and that. And Oh, I didn't know there was anything out there. There is a... That's like I was telling you, I don't know why men are here. Oh, yeah, we'll you know, go back there. If they wipe the cattle tell you why. Off, it would upset something, because there's predators that prey on the cattle, and it would throw things off balance. balance. If you wipe men off, that don't do anything to you it. You couldn't wipe men off, because there are two reasons. That can't be done, I no, know, sir. but I don't see. Christ says Where we fit he in didn't here, know though. that in my house are many mansions. He knew them days. Now, I, thought, I don't think Christ lied about it. In my house are many mansions. If it was not so, I will have told you. Where I'm going, I hope, but where to hope, you shall be also. He's only trying to tell you to be good now. Don't murder and kill and steal and break them commandments. Uh, little children. They come from the day of first breath of life to a hundred years later, they don't breathe no more. Man has a purpose. The water on this earth is greater than man could ever multiply because you could not destroy it on Mother Earth. And if you use them as stars up there, them other planets, as yardsticks, there's no beginning and no end to this thing. And we, man in our day has only went to the first and 
and they're trying to find out over there. Now, you could move a hundred million miles, and yet man on Mother Earth, a little speck way down there. That's a Mother Earth. These are strawberries. Oh, that hundred million miles only maybe be a half inch. They've detected light sources that are 10 yeah. million light years. That means that the light that originated at that place that we're seeing now, years old. 10 billion years yeah. old. Yeah. That's before the Earth was ever created. And this that was existing out there. Yeah, that's right, before this was ever even thought of. You can go that far on the other side of it. It's incredible to think how minutely There's small no beginning and no end a of man this is we're in relation to the whole universe. It don't like matter said, nothing. No wonder we don't You wipe live. us off. It wouldn't change the universe. The moon wouldn't think any different about it. No. The earth wouldn't be upset in any particular way. So I often wonder just why we even exist. The purpose. There's a purpose for all things. But it's the same be as fathom, but I sure don't the know. The men don't answer. live long enough to find out anything. That's too bad. Damn right, it's too bad. When you begin to find out something you don't last long. There is something back of this, but what it is, I don't know. It ain't no gray-headed man or no flopping around. That's all imagination. As I told him one day, I says, women's always angels, because us men ain't angels once in a while. <laughs> you know, just playing, you know. Yeah. It's emblematically between good and bad. I think our characterization of God as a man in the throne oh, is a good way to get across the conception That's right. Of it. But there's but your the God of right out there. Whether he's a pinpoint or a... What? There's your God of mighty right. right out there at the universe. It's, uh, what is it? No man knows. And don't tell me he does. The first guy that walks in that door, I don't care what door. Who have you been the last hundred million years, Mr. Nobody Else ever showed up? That's the first thing I'd tell you. Now, I, I, I've conceived some more stuff that interests you. If a man lays down and giveth up his ghost, where is he? He travels at undiscovered and no travel returns. I, the panorama of life is so great. You know the first damn thing you'd say when you did it worked? When the hell did you die? I never knew that. Hmm. You see, the panorama of life is so great. You never miss that first. There's more people alive on the oh, earth today than have ever existed four, what before. Four billion eight hundred million, something like that, and still more. That's more that's, than ever lived before. That's it. And the death rate is just a knock on them. I understand that... Two thousand people died while you and I talking. I understand that the world population... Oh, how come that up and called us? They're your new Medicare card. Hey, that's what we took care of last time. Oh, see. open that thing up. See if they pay attention to putting that A on there. This tells you about it. And here it is. <coughs> 308-09-6599-A. Where, where was your dad? Here it is. Right there. And she told us it'd be in two or three months, didn't it? Uh, she said two or three weeks. Let's see here. It closes a new health insurance card to replace the one we previously sent you. This card shows your personal claim number and the protection to which you are entitled under Medicare. Therefore, it is important that you have this card and use it if you apply for health insurance. That's all this says. It tells you about it. This is an empty envelope. Throw this away. The card, it's got little preparations along here. That's address. Can I rip that off? Wait a minute. Yeah, you. That's where you go. How about me just leave it like that? All right. Probably fit in your well, wallet better if you tear all that off. What, what is that other thing there? That's just something to put it on. That's just. It don't mean nothing. No. Uh -uh. This this card right here is the only thing that matters. You want a whole card, or you just? Well, I I go no, take it off if I don't have to have it. I no, use no. card around with me if I don't need no, it. It'll fit in your wallet there too. Gee workers. I don't think you have to sign this. Yeah, you do too. You got a pen with you? No, I'll say I got a uh, right your name there on the bottom. 
Well, right here, now there's my bus pass. Oh, did you get all your identification no, back yet? No, I got to go to the... Social Security uh, card? And I got to go. That's my Social Security card yeah. there, isn't it? No, that's your bus pass. Yeah. And we got your Social Security card last time. Where was it at? I don't know. Well, I ain't got it. That's the only thing I got. No, oh, she handed it to you in there, remember? Oh, that thing I'm to carry around yeah. like get this. And when she says get this, then you go the other way. Oh, she typed up a Social Security card for you. Typed oh, I've got that up on the... Yeah. Uh, that and this and the bus pass. <laughs> That's up there on the dresser. So what yeah. else did you not get? Your 